This is an eight year review and test of a very controversial tool, the Harbor Freight Torque Wrench. A lot of people online say it's complete garbage. Is it? Well, I'll give you my thoughts and also I will use a torque adapter to check and see if it's still accurate. So what are some of the things that are good about a torque wrench like this? Well, you know, it's a pretty basic torque wrench, I will say that, but it's obviously affordable and it really does work well and is pretty accurate, as I'll show you soon. Some of the things that are not so good about this torque wrench, well, it has a basic low tooth count ratchet mechanism. Uh, this is a copy of the old Proto design that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Also, the adjustment mechanism is not that great. A lot of times I've seen people complain about this. As you adjust the mechanism, uh, it might start to bind up, and what you need to do in that case is stop and adjust this nut on the bottom partway through. Another thing that's not great is these screws that hold the cover plate on are always coming loose. Uh, I should just put Loctite on them, but I always forget to do it. Uh, what has happened to me is a couple times I've noticed the mechanism is starting to bind up and not work properly, and it turns out it's because the cover plate screws are coming loose, and that's allowing the internal pieces to move around. Here we are inside the ratchet head where the real magic happens. As I mentioned before, this is a copy of the old Proto design. You can see you have two balls there uh, held in place with springs. Uh, it's a coarse tooth mechanism as I mentioned. It's, whoops. If you don't have the screws tight that hold the cover plate on, what just happened to me can happen to you. The mechanism fell apart here just a little bit. One of the screws popped out. I should be able to get it here back in place with not too much trouble. And there it is back in place. So if it falls apart, here's how you put it back together. So this is kind of a low tech setup to show you the accuracy of this wrench after eight years. Uh, what I have here is a torque adapter. This one's from Harbor Freight, but there are a lot of different brands of these. This one is also sold, I believe, under different brand names. I have these lug nuts torqued to 100 foot-pounds, which is the factory spec, and I have the torque wrench set to 70 foot-pounds. Uh, 68.4. 68.4, 69.1, 70.9. Here we are after a little number crunching and I'm doing this the most low tech way possible of pointing the camera at the computer screen. So I apologize for that. Here we have the settings, which was uh, 70 foot pounds for all of them. Uh, the actual readings there in the next column and the third column is the deviation in percentage. So you can see the highest deviation that I got there just with a quick random test was 3.57% above the setting. I got 72.5. You know, I think that's pretty darn good, especially when you consider this is a cheap torque wrench and the thing is eight years old. One tip for keeping a torque wrench accurate is store it at the lowest setting. Here I have mine set all the way to the bottom. For most types of torque wrenches, that's what the instructions are going to say to do. It keeps pressure off the internal spring and keeps the torque wrench accurate. Here it is, the proof of the age of this torque wrench. Here's the receipt showing how old it is. I purchased it in May 2008 and I paid 15 bucks. I must have forgotten a, a coupon that day. Never pay regular price at Harbor Freight. You might be thinking, why in the hell would I believe this guy's opinion of a Harbor Freight torque wrench? Valid question. I can tell you I used to work professionally in shops back in the day when I was in college. Now I'm a white collar guy, but I'm still an avid DIYer. Also, I've owned and used many torque wrenches over the years from snap-on to precision instruments, split beams, to what you see here, which are three USA made torque wrenches, which are some of the ones I own right now. So what's the conclusion here? What should you take away from a video of some random guy testing an eight-year-old Harbor Freight torque wrench? Well, is this the best torque wrench in the world? The answer is no. These torque wrenches are nicer. They are easier to use because they have better adjustment mechanisms and because they have, at least these two, more teeth in the head. They're just easier to use generally. 
But the point is, the Harbor Freight torque wrench is not a bad torque wrench. People online like to rip on it, assuming that anything from Harbor Freight is terrible and does not work, and you should never use this torque wrench because surely it will destroy whatever you're working on. For me, that has not been the case. The torque wrench has worked well, and it's worked well now for eight years. So, is it worth 10 bucks or whatever it costs now? Yeah, sure. If you want to spend more, there are better torque wrenches out there. But if you want something cheap that'll do the job, this torque wrench does the job. Post any questions you have down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. And thanks for watching.